Good evening. I'm Bob Berman for the SLU Space Camera. Right now, Monday night, the ice giant, Neptune, has formed a straight line with the Sun and Earth. Also right now, Neptune has come closer to Earth than at any time in more than a half century. It is all happening at this exact hour as the SLU space camera now observes the strange blue planet in its natural full color live. Located in the Canary Islands at a world-class observing site, SLU telescopes are being used by its members to obtain real-time images of comets, galaxies, and planets like Neptune. At the moment, SLU has opened its instrumentation to the public to see Neptune at this momentous occasion. Neptune has intrigued astronomers since its discovery in 1846. It was the first planet found because of mathematics, and not just by luck. The result of calculations by French and English astronomers, who figured just where a new planet must lie in order to make Uranus behave so strangely which it was doing. The predictions proved to be spot-on, and slow-moving giant Neptune was found in the constellation of Aquarius, coincidentally enough, just where it lies tonight. Neptune remained the most distant planet until Pluto's discovery in 1930, but after Pluto's official demotion in 2006, Neptune has regained its status as the most far away major planet. Yet Pluto still maintains a relationship with it. They are gravitationally linked so that Neptune completes three orbits of the Sun in the exact same time that Pluto performs two solar circuits. This resonance creates the strange reality that Pluto can venture much closer to Uranus than it ever comes to Neptune. Also visible tonight, at its brightest of the year, is the largest moon in the solar system beyond Saturn. Its name is Triton, and it orbits Neptune backwards. Indeed, it is the only major satellite in the solar system to circle its planet in a retrograde or clockwise direction. And there it is, that one little star near Neptune in our live view right now. Neptune is also the only blue planet other than Earth. In our own planet's case, the color comes from both our oceans and our air. Oceans because water absorbs red light and reflects the blue component of sunlight. Air because the solar blue wavelengths are scattered by our atmosphere. But in Neptune's case, the blue is due to ammonia, the same ammonia we clean floors with, which absorbs red light and reflects blue to our eyes. Although Neptune is still so distant that it looks no more than a small disk, we can see Neptune's color clearly thanks to SLU's patented image technology. Good evening. I'm Bob Berman.